It's the shared vision of all these international offices that make the company so special. Now, just 18 months ago, William Lee announced that he not only wanted to create the electric vehicle of the future, but that he wanted to build a supercar and present it to the world by the end of 2016. Now, evidently, Next EV isn't a company that stands still, as today, that dream is a reality. And in just a moment, you, are going to be the very first people in the world to see William Lee unveiling their greatest achievement to date. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back founder and chairman, William Lee. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This car is born to push limits, both in terms of technology and our team. It is created in a true global collaboration in record time, and it is proof of our capability. This is history in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, let me invite Nielsen and Oliver <laughs> together <laughs> to give you the near EP9. Please. Fantastic looking car, and I'm very pleased to say that we're honoured now to be joined by David Hilton, Senior Design Director for Next EV. David, congratulations. You, what a huge you, achievement. You. I mean, thank this you. must have been a real labour of love for you. Oh, absolutely. It's arguably been the best project I've ever worked on and uh, a real tribute to the, the team involved. It's uh, amazing. And it's been a really quick turnaround. I mean, 18 months, yeah. how have you done it? It's been ridiculously quick. Um, it's been a global effort, it's been a team effort, and luckily we've had some amazing people come together at the same time to pull something impossible off. Now, there must have been some highs and lows of this project. What were the yeah. real challenges? The hardest challenge in doing a project like this is we're starting from scratch. We're designing an all new DNA, a style and identity, not just for a supercar alone, but across the brands and the other vehicles. This vehicle will have to sit next to future products that we're working on now. So we're setting the pace for Neo for the future, not just a singular supercar. So David, is the Neo EP9 a culmination of that vision that was set out 18 months ago. Absolutely it is. It's a global effort from our manufacturing teams, design teams, technology teams around the world, Shanghai, San Jose, Munich, UK Motorsport. It is a complete team effort. 
Wow, well, well done, David. And I can't wait to take it for a test drive. Now, it's clear there is an incredible amount of passion and effort which has been put into the creation of this car. And now we've got another exclusive screening for you all, a stunning film which highlights all the amazing capabilities of this car. <laughs> I'm Nick Perrin and I'm race engineer at Next TV. When I met with Martin Nietzsche at the beginning of the project, he explained how he wanted that car to become the fastest electric car on earth and still look like a really beautiful road car. That combination has never existed before. On paper, a lunatic project. Really short time, completely to the edge of the envelope of what was possible. The circuit is unique, very fast flowing corners, kind of the ideal venue to, to test any car. You now me and Oliver, we're gonna try to break all the records that we can, driving as quick as we can. You want it to be beautiful, but you need it to perform. So the target numbers we went for are all in this car. They're all there. First experience of the EP9, the response of the electric motors is phenomenal. the active suspension keeping a constant ride height and gives you a very good balance throughout the corner and uh, real confidence in the car. But it's a car that has a massive amount of downforce. I think what the team wanted to see is how far we could go. We are pushing the boundary even further. It's interesting to see that the vision was right. Wow. Now, a supercar of this caliber could only have been created out of a strong racing pedigree. And that's exactly what NEO have. With me now, Chief Race Engineer Jerry Hughes and Next EV NEO Formula E team and NEO Ambassadors Oliver Turvey and Nelson PK Jr. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Nelson, I've got to ask you first, because you've actually driven this car. What does it feel like? Tell us. Well, the one thing every driver likes is a fast car. And having a race, well, a supercar that goes zero to 100 in 2.7 seconds is like... That's crazy. It's crazy for all <laughs> of us. We love it. And uh, not only that, I mean, the car has a, a huge amount of downforce, a huge amount of power braking. So, I mean, it has everything for us to have a lot, a lot of fun. Wow. You are one very lucky man. <laughs> um, Oliver, being part of Formula E, you know, what kind of impact and influence has that mm. had on the car? And how can you compare driving a Formula E car to driving this one? Yeah, I think the design of the Neo EP9 uh, has, has really come from a racing pedigree and from the lessons we've learned racing in Formula E on the streets of the cities around the world. And, you know, the handling of the car is very neutral, very gives you a lot of confidence and it's, it's a great car to drive. Now, do you think the success of the Formula E Next EV Neo Tim will really help encourage other people to drive electric vehicles? 
Absolutely. I think electric cars have got a big future. You know, I think it really promotes having these cars in the cities to reduce emissions. And uh, I'm confident that the success of our team will, will help promote electric cars uh, as the, the future of transportation. Now, Jerry, as the chief race engineer, you are really responsible for all the success of the Formula E team, aren't you? That's correct, Nicky. Uh, my main role is to optimise uh, performance of the cars in all areas uh, to enhance and maintain performance on track for both Nelson and Oliver. And what do you think of this, the Neo EP9? What a stunning looking car. It really is. What's been particularly interesting about the design and development of this vehicle is that we've been able to utilise all of the information, all of the experience gained on track to design and develop the car. Now, racing heritage is very important to the Neo brand, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think what's particularly interesting about the Neo brand is that they've been able to combine the state-of-the-art internet software with the latest technologies, then also with all the experience on track to design a vehicle of this nature. Now, Jerry, Next EV, they're not the first company to go from a race car to a road car, are they? Well, what's interesting about Next EV is that their core foundations are based on electric vehicles, and there are great synergies between the Formula E team and the supercar. Well, thank you all for joining us today. Now, to prove these performance targets, the team set the greatest test of man and machine. Let's take a look. Now, I mean, William, by unveiling this insane supercar, the Neo EP9, you've really shown the world what can be achieved, haven't you? Yes, we have. We are incredibly proud of what we have achieved so far. And of course, the record at the Nürburgring. But it's just the beginning. The future of Neo starts today. So what can we expect next? The car is the result of 18 months of hard work. We learned lots of lessons. Now our development continues as we deliver this technology onto the road in the form of affordable electric vehicle for the masses. Now importantly, which markets is it going to be available in and when? We plan to launch our first production car in China next year. After China, we will look to roll out the vehicles in other markets. Well, William, thank you so much for sharing it with us today. Thank you. 
and you've also been chosen to test autonomous vehicles in California. Yes, it's something as we are really excited to be involved in. Well, it's been great, William, that you've been able to share all of this with us today. Ours is a journey that's meant to be shared. Our whole enterprise model is built on the involvement, inspiration and ideas of every user. I invite you all to become part of the new family and help us create a bright tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. William, thank you. Thank you all for joining us on an incredible journey into the future of NEO.